this is Bob from the Bob's Enscale Man Cave. I'm at the Enscale Convention here at the Sheraton Hotel and Convention Center in Overland Park, Kansas. And as you can, probably can expect, an Enscale Convention is rather small. Uh, probably not as big as the normal uh, train show you probably see in our convention, but they have had a lot of things going on here. They had last night an auction for some rare N-scale related items, uh, microtrains, Kato, Concorde, you know, everything. Um, that went till late in the night, and we also have uh, layout tours at homes, and they also have some layouts set up down here in the basement at the lower level. Upstairs where I'm at, they have a swap meet where a lot of vendors are selling their products and also manufacturers are up here as well showing off what is new and coming this year. Uh, the big news that I'm here for is the Scale Trains announcement of an N-Scale locomotive, their first, and we'll take a look and see what that is and I'll show you that in a uh, different video, separate from this, so look out for that. And uh, we'll also take a look at some layouts that they have displayed here from the local community. So let's go take a look and uh, see what they got. The 60M is the wide cap. 
they did the Y cap and the B unit. So, but it's all from, from here back. It's all the same. Ah, okay. The transfer caboose is coming out in August, September. Uh, some silver side gondolas and some seven post box cars at the end of August, September. Train works good. Yeah, and your airbags are in the back of your sleeper. So it's like, yeah. You can use scale. How many I mean, we could do that with the trailers. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, I have the A model, but the sleeper didn't change. No. They just changed the cab and hood and everything. Basically, the only thing is the square headlights to the round ones. Yeah. Well, you know, they have the squirrel dime that you just showed me would be. They'd have round headlights, but it'd be. That was a point. Right. Forms small scale uh, 3D printed products that they have here at the show. Uh, this is some of the models that you can buy pre made. Looks like a uh, little gas station, uh, convenience stores, and some miscellaneous buildings. It's all done on CAD programming. On a computer, plug in your plastic supply, and out comes a product <laughs> of your 3D printer. Making roof detail right now. It takes about an hour to make. And according to Katie over here, it takes 15 minutes to make one. These are almost done, probably, somewhere in, close to almost done. And for more information, contact Lifeforms, scale, small scale, and make all sorts of stuff. Lifeforms. Smallscale.com. And we have the owner here, Rafe. Uh, Rafe Lyford, actually. And uh, his daughter, Katie. We got some also some uh, prepackaged products already made in kit form, ready for sale. Contact them if you want more information. It should be interesting. I, I saw, I saw that PC. Overland did some of the very expensive ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
put it in your hand there so you can take a close look. Yeah. Yeah. Now you yeah. need some ball cars for them, sure. Yeah. So, dual, dual power? Yeah. Both are power, A and the B. A's got a sound system, and B's got a sound system. Just buy the sound system. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. what the prices were. Right? Yeah, we see them out in California, everyone. Uh, 349 for the non sound system. Yeah, okay. Black yeah. Okay. okay. You'll sell a ton um, of those 9 11 and, and all the other, you know, all the other. Uh, it's going to be yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll probably do a full base sound system. And then, yeah. And then something like the hair. We'll probably lay out until our next release. Or we'll be close to shipping. Yeah. It's just we don't even know. I know. Yeah. So the coolers are coming back. money we should so I gotta have one yeah. Watch our yeah. Well, make sure that well, when you start brand new product from Walther's, an N scale DQ grill and chill, and a vintage Dairy Queen. Oh, oh, so you've seen our layout. Just announced and it was up for the, today uh, uh, at convention. the National N scale convention. Oh, MRA? Okay, yeah. Which My home layout was on tour. For that. I also have uh, Merchants uh, Row 1. No. I was kind of disappointed with the show. The NMRA guys are here right now. Yeah. Then we got a wireless bus system. Charge it up by a USB port. Runs for about two hours. Made by Tommy Tech. And a North American bus, operating bus, system starter set. Retail price is $129.98. Service guys. His name's Curtis, but we call him Cletus. <laughs> Cletus. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. He's, the, he's Cletus. Who's that guy? <laughs> also an operating uh, water tower from Broadway Limited. It's available now. What's the price on it? I think it's about. I think it's eighty nine. Eighty nine dollars. That's okay. There you have it, Mancavians. That was the vendors portion of the National N-Scale Convention in Kansas City, Kansas. And one notable thing that I noticed out of there was a change in manufacturing uh, for microtrains. They have started converting all their uh, cu couplers to body-mounted couplers instead of the truck-mounted couplers. That is a trend that they're working with uh, converting everything that they have to that. 
at least that's the trend that I'm seeing from them. Uh, with the new air slide hopper that I showed you that is coming with body mounted couplers and since most people like to convert to a body mounted coupler anyway uh, this is a step in the right direction for a lot of us out there who like to do a lot of switching actions and have to push their trains backwards and don't want um, a lot of derailments you know, which are kind of caused by having truck mounted couplers going around curves and so forth. So that's something that's very positive. Another thing was the N-Scale locomotive by scaletrains.com the GTEL 8500 Big Blow uh, that was used by Union Pacific. They made one in HO scale at the, that will be coming out here in August and then they came up with an N-Scale one in the rivet counter quality. Uh, museum quality is a little bit too uh, too difficult to make right now and uh, maybe later in the near or far future depending on how technology goes uh, it'll be available then but we'll see. Well Mancavians if you like what you saw here today click subscribe or click on the links down below and follow me on Facebook Google Plus and Twitter. And as always, happy model railroading and stay off the tracks.